Hey everyone, this is Stefan from ProjectLifeMastery.com and I'm here at SellerCon in Orlando, Florida. I'm being joined right now by the great Mike McClary, who is one of the co-creators of The Amazing Selling Machine. Uh, Mike is graciously taking the time as a, just a little break because he's actually speaking at the event. He's, I guess you're the host? Yeah, I'm one of the co-hosts this, this year. Yeah, so you're very busy. You've only got less than 25 minutes, so thank you so much for taking the time. No, thanks for having me. I always love talking to you and talking to your audience as well. Appreciate it. So we want to talk today uh, about uh, uh, Mike's story real quick, but also about the amazing selling machine. Um, you know, Mike's been pretty active, involved in creating a lot of that content. You've worked with now thousands of students, um, and you have a lot that you can share with my audience that might be considering joining uh, ASM and uh, being a part of um, this program. So I, do you mind sharing just real quick, a quick story about how you got into selling on Amazon, how you got into joining the amazing uh, selling machine and working with them today? Yeah, sure. The, the first thing to keep in mind is I, I'm not an e internet marketer. I've never been involved in e-commerce. I was actually a finance advisor or financial director for Charter uh, Telecommunications. They're a large cable and phone company. I uh, did that for probably 15 years and I just realized that I needed a change. Um, I like the job, love the company, love the people I was working for, but I think inside of me was an entrepreneur waiting to get out. And so about five years ago, I started actively looking for something to really change my life. Uh, and that's when I just got an email. Probably like a lot of people who are watching this, they uh, got an email and it talked about private labeling products and leveraging Amazon. And it just made sense to me. Everything that I learned in those videos ticked all the boxes and it just seemed like a great business opportunity. So there I was, uh, I signed up for Amazing Selling Machine, the very first iteration oh, wow. of the course. Yeah, I was just one of the first students of the course. Uh, I was incredibly excited. It was amazing because the moment I signed up for it, didn't tell my wife yet, uh, you know, it's an investment, uh, but the moment I signed up for it, I already felt like I was successful. It just it was a state of mind. Right. Uh, and so that was in 2013. Uh, I took the course, took about eight weeks. Uh, launched our first product four weeks after the course was over. Uh, launched my second product about two months after that. Uh, and then things just started taking off. It was amazing. Uh, I think it didn't really even hit me the first time we made a sale. I was at a live event like this. Yeah. It was Austin, Texas. I remember getting on the plane to fly home. My brother was with me, my business partner at the time. And we're waiting uh, in the airport, get onto the plane, and then our phone goes off. And ding, and at that time, uh, the little seller app would tell you when you got a sale. Our yeah. very first sale was made at a live event like I am today, That's awesome. five years ago. It was, it was amazing. That's amazing. So you've obviously had a lot of success now on Amazon. At what point did you do, start working with uh, Amazing.com and, and joining, actually creating content and being one of the mentors for ASM? Yes. Yeah, so later on that first year, they realized the course was uh, so successful. People were getting so many good results that they wanted to bring in some more new members because there's so much to share. But Matt and Jason couldn't do that alone. They're just two people. Uh, so they started cultivating a group of successful students like myself called the mentors. And so that fall, you know, probably you know, seven months after the course was created, the mentorship program was created. As a matter of fact, completely volunteers. You know, no one getting paid for this out there, just people who wanted to share their success. Uh, and I guess they picked me because I was active in the community, sharing my story and helping people. Because in this business, there are a million ways to do things. And of course, Matt and Jason can teach us the best ways to start off but once you get going, you can branch off into so many different directions, and that's where the whole community comes in. Some people have different products that do well in one niche. Some people have different products that do well with another traffic channel, um, and all those people were sharing their ideas and helping people all along the way. It was amazing to see how organic it was, just everyone helping everyone else, and I was one of those people because I loved doing it. I never, I didn't even realize I was doing it, uh, but just naturally started helping people, and then Jason tapped me and said, hey, we need a group of mentors. Would you want to volunteer for it? And of course, I jumped at the chance. So that was the volunteer part of it. Yeah. Uh, about a year later then, when they were updating the course, I continued to be more active, and they wanted to bring some other fresh faces into actually doing the training. And for one of the launches of ASM, uh, ASM, I came in and did some of the training. And then my business blew up completely, in a good way. It was wow. going great. And so I had to take a pause. I'm like, you know, guys, I loved in the training. Uh, you know, everyone's always asking questions. And, I can't say no, I yeah. love helping everyone, uh, but my business needed a little bit of attention that time. So for the next year and a half or two, I focused on my business and it grew. We're now doing over three million a year. Uh, it's been pretty consistent for the past couple of years doing that amount. Uh, and then last year in the first official capacity, uh, they wanted to bring back Amazing Selling Machine. So we actually took a pause, or Matt and Jason took a yeah. pause, yeah, for 18 months mm -hmm. uh, because they wanted to focus on 
How do we make sure that as we continually bring new members in, they continually get the same kind of results that our first members got? So they realize we need to retool everything, reassess what we're teaching, how we're teaching it, and took a year and a half off. And at the end of that time, they tapped me because our business was still going great and said, hey, would you help us teach people to do this? And again, I jumped at the opportunity. Uh, and so since last year, end of February, is when I finally you know, signed on for this, uh, I've been full-time now creating content, doing the training, doing support, helping people in as many ways that I can, and kind of culminating today uh, where I'm helping with the Celicon event the first time as a co-host. Very cool. I mean, you're definitely an amazing teacher. So I think you found, you know, I, I, at least for myself, I love running and operating businesses, but I also love teaching people and actually working with people and actually seeing those transformations and whatnot. So you do, you do an amazing job. I appreciate that. You know, what's funny is I used to tell my family that um, I never felt like a teacher, never really wanted to be a teacher, and lo and behold, I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So. Um, just to clarify, The Amazing Selling Machine is an online training program. It's what I joined. I joined ASM4 and uh, you joined ASM1. ASM1. Uh, you guys are coming out with ASM9 and one thing that I love about what you guys do and you kind of referenced it is you guys are always improving things. You're always making it better and better. And even for myself as a course creator, it's, it's a lot of work to always be on top of the, lading, the latest things and constantly investing back into that training program to help people get results. So I really love um, the example that you guys do and you guys really care about your members and just making it the best possible program that's out there. Um, do you mind sharing just a little bit about you know, what's, you know, how have you guys evolved ASM? Obviously Amazon's changed since when you joined um, you know, like how has it evolved and how are you guys making things better and better? Sure. Well, there's a couple things that continually change in this space that I'm still learning myself, but now recognizing. Uh, one would be how you choose your products. Uh, the market is constantly changing. Uh, the great thing about that is that there's always markets, there are always new products coming out. We'll, we're never going to run out of products to select from, but how we select them, how we categorize the products, which ones are the best opportunities, that's always changing. So we make sure that every time we come out with a new version of the course, we completely revisit product selection. Uh, so that's one of the things we're doing this time. Uh, other things that change are Amazon. You know, Amazon, we're playing in their backyard. This is their space and we are very fortunate to be there. So we wanna make sure that we give the customers what they want and also play along with Amazon's rules. Uh, sometimes it can be frustrating. It's a love-hate relationship. Yeah. Uh, but we wanna make sure, you know, there are other people out there who will teach you some black hat tactics that may get you a few sales or a lot of sales for a month or two, but you're putting your entire livelihood at risk. And so we make sure that we don't do that. We're gonna, we'll push things to the edge, but we don't wanna push anyone off that edge. So we make sure we're on the cutting edge of what Amazon does and does not allow. Uh, and then the third area would be traffic and ranking. That's my specialty, my favorite thing. I love always, I'm not gonna say gaming the system, that's not what it is. I love taking different strategies designed for one specific, specific uh, I guess, tactic and using it for a dozen different things in different ways that people don't think of, uh, such as Amazon giveaways, such as Vendor Express and Amazon marketing services. Those were never designed to be used by people selling on their third-party platform, like, which is where you're, we're on. But we kind of like, we disrupted that market and brought people into that. Uh, also, traffic and ranking through what's called Launch, Blitz, and Rank. We developed that strategy, uh, and we're still developing it. This year, you know, months ago, Amazon completely changed their algorithm. So we went in, we tested, and we made sure that what we were teaching works and is the latest and greatest strategy. So all those different things are changing. And Amazon, I don't, you probably know this too, is that um, Amazon's constantly bringing out new marketing channels for us, right. uh, things that only the big brands had access to. Yeah. They're giving to people like us. That tells me yeah. they want us to be in their space. I think, you know, third party sellers like ourselves, we make up over half of the entire Amazon marketplace right now. And they've seen that growth, they recognize it, they value it. And I think Amazon's gonna continue rewarding us with more tools that help us grow our business and help them grow the business as well. Cool. Um, I know there's, at, at, you know, throughout the years, about one thing that's always kind of come up, and I'm sure it came up when you joined, it came up when I joined, and I'm sure it'll come up now, is there's always a segment of people that think, well, it's too late. Uh, I missed the boat, I missed the opportunity, it's too hard now, it's more saturated, it's more competitive. Um, and, you know, I, people said that when I joined ASM4, and sure enough, I succeeded, Tatiana succeeded, many people have, and sure enough, ASM8 came along. All, all the different, there's always been success stories regardless of how the competition and all that ha, ha, has changed. Um, how, you know, what, what's your response to those people out there that might have that mindset? Uh, just look at the, the true numbers and statistics. Amazon is growing, and they're still growing, not even just bigger dollar-wise, 
percentage-wise. It's crazy how their growth percentage-wise, which never happens for companies that are big, they're going to grow, grow like, I think it's around 30-something percent this year, which is unbelievable. And that growth from Amazon is bigger than the growth of the number of people selling on Amazon. So there's a bigger marketplace out there and less people proportionally selling in it. So if you think that there's, it's too late to get in, Amazon's growing so fast, they're opening up more opportunities than the people that are getting involved in it. So there's always a space for people like us. And when you have the right training, you know the right things to look for, when you know the right types of products to sell and who to sell them to, there's always going to be a space for people to go out there and succeed. And we just heard from dozens of people though that past two days who are having phenomenal results in a very short amount of time. Uh, I think one of the happy, sad stories is we are hearing people running out of inventory. They just launched last month yeah. and they're out of inventory. It's, it's a great, it's a great problem, problem to have. have. Yeah. And it, makes it brings it home, makes it real. Uh, and so many people that are here today who are ASM members are talking about, we didn't realize this, the type of potential that's involved in this business until they made their first sale, until they ran out of inventory, came here, met people, and realized this can change their lives and completely transform their families' lives as well. I know one thing you guys have evolved with ASM2 is teaching more international how to sell in the Europe, uh, the, all the different marketplaces on Amazon because Amazon is expanding globally and it's providing those opportunities. Do you mind sharing a little bit about the opportunities that exist for people might be watching this from Europe, from Australia, from all different parts of the world? Yeah, so you know, several years ago we used to only teach starting off on Amazon.com in the United States because that was the easiest market, the fastest way to get sales. Last year that changed. We look at the entire European marketplace, not just the German market, the UK market, Spain, France, Italy. If you look at them combined, they make up just about as many sales and customers as the US market. And once we realized that Amazon was fulfilling services over there, building more warehouses, they were focusing on Europe, we decided we need to focus on it as well. We have lots of members, not, not quite half, but almost half of our members are outside of the US, and so our guidance changed that. We completely revamped the training to say, if you live in Europe, start off in Europe. That actually makes things simpler for you. And that way, that barrier that used to exist for people, that it's more of a mental barrier, because there's just a few simple steps in order to get selling in the United States, but if that was a mental barrier for you, then start off in your own country because those markets are still growing. Uh, UK and Germany are great markets at going in. I think that Italy is going to start growing even faster. It's kind of unutilized right now, underutilized right now. Uh, France is a secret market over there that people just don't seem to go in there because the language seems so much more different than the other markets. Uh, and then it's just going to continue growing that way. And with Australia, well, we're just starting to see that take off. They opened up the first third-party platform for seller central sellers like ours. Um, it's not taken off yet because they're working out the bugs, but in six to 12 months, Australia is going to be a really big market and people living on that part of the world, it's going to be really easy to get their products selling quickly. Awesome. Um, I know one common question that people have is what's the, what's on average the time commitment someone might expect in joining ESM and trying to build this business because a lot of people had their full-time job, they have their family, different obligations. I know you had that when you started as well. So on average, what would you say is, um, what, what, what amount of time can someone expect to get their yeah. business up and running? And you're right, Stephen, I, I was exactly in the situation. Uh, you know, I had two kids, a family, I had a full-time job, and you know, a, a job that I worked eight to 10 hours a day at least on. Uh, I would say that if you can dedicate one to two hours a day, and that's just during the course, it's an eight week long course, one to two hours a day, you can accomplish everything that you need to. And it doesn't have to be at any set time. You know, when we make the training avail videos available, you can watch those anytime you want to. Uh, we want you to watch them as quickly as possible because the quicker you watch them, the quicker you take action, the quicker you'll see the results. But if just an hour or two a day is how you can, it's all that you need to make this a success. What I did, and you know, I love spending time with my family, so I would go to work every day. I come home, I would make sure that I had dinner and time with the family. And then once everyone's going off doing their homework, you know, cleaning up the dishes, which I had to help with too, um, then I'd go down to my office. I have you know, just a little spare bedroom, I turned to my office, and I would watch the training videos and focus on what I was trying to learn and figure out that day. That's all the time that I had to put into this business right. at the beginning. And that's all that it took. Yeah, very cool. And then also the other one is the money commitment. Mm -hmm. So obviously starting a business, there's some investment required, right. especially you know, the training, but also an inventory. Um, what can someone expect in terms of how much they should, they need to invest in their business to get it up and running? Sure, you know, you know once you get past the investment of the course, which is, a, it's so cheap compared to any other type of training you'll get. You know, you spend hundred thousand dollars to go to college. You know, fifty thousand dollars to go to trade school, just for the cost of the course it's so affordable to get in and get the training and to get the mentorship and to get the tools and to get uh, the, the community that will help you out all along the way. 
as far as the biggest next investment is going to be inventory by far. You know? But we've seen people get success with as little as $500. But I think if you really want to have the best chance to do it, budget about $1,500 for inventory. That gives you all that you need. Um, however, I will say this. If you want to you know, leapfrog over the people, there's two ways to do that. You either devote more time or more resources in the form of money. So if you're somebody who has $5,000 invested in inventory, you'll be able to get going even quicker. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you'll necessarily have more success in the long term, just that there are other ways to get around that issue of how quickly you can get going. But as, with as little as $1,500, that's plenty to invest in inventory, including shipping, getting it over here, and we also budget with that amount enough to really jumpstart your sales by giving a few products away in order to get sales and ranking going. Awesome. Uh, just a few more questions before we wrap up. No um, one thing I love that you guys provide, you know, you guys are, I mean, it is a more expensive training for a lot of people, but you guys provide so much for people. And one thing I love is you guys provide mentors, meaning that if you guys get stuck throughout the training, you guys have mentors that can help. You guys have an amazing community of people that are just incredible to, to help one another. It's really inspiring to see that. And especially, I mean, just coming to these events and everything, you see over a thousand people here that are all eager to share and help one another. But in terms of the mentors, because I know a lot of people might be thinking, you know, what if I get stuck or what if I don't know what to do or what if um, some challenges come up along the way? How, you know, talk just about why you guys and how you guys created that mentorship and what's, what's involved in that just for those that might be thinking, I might need some extra help along the way. What can that help? people with. You know, and to, to address that first question, will they need help on the, along the way? Absolutely yeah, you will. You'll have does. questions. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I know I did. I had lots of questions. Uh, you can get a ton of information out of the training, but there's always going to be that other question that you, you think, you did, oh, what exactly did I learn there? Do, what's the exact next step I need to take if I didn't quite get it? The mentorship program grew organically because people were helping each other. Uh, and once we recognized that, once Matt and Jason recognized that, they thought, let's just make this official. Let's ask these mentors to dedicate 30 minutes, maybe an hour a day, hanging out in the community and answering questions. And that's just, that was the basis for it all. That's how it started. And now we just have a formal mentor program. We have people from all over the world. So we have people from the US, we have the people from Europe, we have people from Australia, New Zealand, uh, we have people from South America now, uh, which we didn't have before. Now yeah. we have that. We recognize that our, we have members who are really having success, probably you know, also in Panama, uh, Costa Rica, Colombia, Brazil. So we bring in mentors all over the place. So that way, when you ask questions, if you have any kind of concerns like, oh, my English isn't that good, yeah. uh, you don't worry about it. Our mentors speak many different languages. Uh, also, the time zones. If you're in Australia, we know how difficult that might be. We have mentors that are up when I'm trying to get some sleep, as a matter of fact, answering questions. And, and the way that happens is you'll post a question in our community, and we have both an, uh, a dedicated online website community, and we have the Facebook group that, you know, once you get your product up and running, we can actually put you into the Facebook group, which is just as helpful as the online community. You get questions answered in a matter of minutes, if not hours. Um, people love helping. And what I've noticed is as the course progresses, you know, we have eight-week course. As you know, early on, the mentors are the ones answering the questions. But after a little bit of time, the members start answering. Like, oh, I know the answer to that. I know the answer to that. Yeah. And they start helping more and more. And by the end of the course, sometimes, I'm going through the community. I wake up. I look for the questions. Every single one's been answered. I'm like, I don't yeah. know what to do. Everyone's already given the right answers and everything. Yeah. How many mentors do you guys have? Now? About 15 right now. Uh, cool. But we continually mix them up. We we'll continue to add them. Sometimes mentors need a break for a little bit because they do a lot of work in the community. So they'll take one, you know, like for a few months off. We bring in other mentors. If you're out there, you want to be a mentor, let me know because we're always looking for them. Uh, we actually tap people. It's pretty easy to see those people. They may not even realize it. They're just natural helpers, natural teachers. And we recognize that. We give them awards in the community. And eventually, if, they, if we see they really have an aspiration to do that, we'll ask them and bring them in to become a mentor with us. Very cool. And also, I'm an affiliate for ASM. So I've been able to provide a lot of bonuses uh, for, for those that might be interested in joining the amazing selling machine uh, through me. And part of that bonus is getting mentorship from me. That if you have questions for me, if you want me to review your products and give you feedback on it, or you get stuck, or you know, even sometimes we have some, some other issues that come up of, of just procrastination or laziness or some bad habits or life events. And I think it's just so valuable that, you know, when that happens to be able to reach out to someone for help, because I've been there, I know you've been there. We all, you know, sometimes everything doesn't work perfectly what we expect and we get caught up on things. So having a coach, having a mentor, I think that's one common denominator of everyone that's been successful. They've always found and had people like that. So that's something that I provide, and I want to just kind of reference that. Uh, I'll link to that in the description of this video, but 
If you go to projectlifemastery.com forward slash amazing selling machine bonus, then you can learn more about the bonuses that I provide on top of the mentorship and everything that ASM provides as well. So my last question is, any just general advice for those that are maybe watching this right now, they're on the fence, maybe they're a little bit skeptical, you know, and there's a lot of people like that too, maybe it's too good to be true, um, but they wanna make a change in their life. And I know when you joined ASM, it was a leap of faith. You know, you didn't, you said you didn't tell your wife, you know, so I can imagine there's a little bit of conflict from that. I don't recommend and, that necessarily, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and and I, I, I understand, you know, there is uncertainty around an investment like this. Um, just what's your message for someone that might be in that situation that wants to make that change? Well, first, use the right term. It's an investment. It's an investment in yourself, in your future, in your family's future. And if you look at it that way, um, it kind of changes your entire perspective. Um, the most important thing to keep in mind is that this is real. We have real physical people. Every day I'm meeting people. They're like punching me in the arm like, oh, you're a real person. You're not just a computer screen or a figment of my imagination. There are real people behind this course, in the course, living the course, and it's changing lives every single day. If you're on the fence and you're concerned this might not be for you, uh, just know that everyone out there, no matter where you come from, you can change your life, you can make a difference in your life. It doesn't matter whether you have no experience becoming an entrepreneur. I didn't, like I said, I was a finance guy working for a cable company. Uh, I was not an entrepreneur at all, uh, but, I just, I, but I just had something inside me that wanted to try something different. So if you want to try something different, something to change your life, this is the perfect opportunity. It's the best opportunity, and there is absolutely, bar none, and I feel comfortable saying this, there is no other business out there where there's a low of an entry, a barrier that you can get success as big and as fast as you can with the amazing selling machine and starting to sell on Amazon. And I wanna thank you, Stefan, too. You've brought in so many members. You give so much coaching advice. Uh, you can tell that the people that are coming in under you with your tutorship and your guidance, um, they just have this incredible positive energy. They know they're gonna be a success. You know they're getting great advice and great coaching from behind. And I wanna thank you for that too, because I love working with those members. I appreciate it, thank you so much. So I encourage you guys, if you are on the fence, if you wanna learn more about Amazing Sell Machine, check out the free videos that they have available. Um, they have a great free video training. You'll see Mike in those videos. Uh, watch through those. You'll learn more about this opportunity. Um, you can reach out to me as well on my bonus page at, again, projectlifemastery.com slash amazing selling machine bonus. I've got a live chat there, so if you want to ask me questions, I'll personally respond uh, to those and be able to help you out and give you the best advice if it's the right thing for you or a answer any questions that you might have um, about that. And uh, just, just you know, go through the, the video that explains what's involved. I know they've got an amazing guarantee, um, a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you could even test it out for that time frame. Um, often they do a six-month guarantee as well, which is pretty amazing too if you're not seeing the results um, within that time frame as well. So um, it's an amazing investment, amazing program, highly recommend it. I wouldn't be so passionate sharing it with you guys if it didn't benefit me and Tatiana and all, all the people that I've sent to it. So I really believe in what you guys are doing. I wanna say thank you so yeah, much, thank you. Mike. Thanks for taking the time. And uh, thank you guys for watching this. I hope to have a chance to work with you and uh, see you guys at one of these events in the future. Take care. Hey, I just wanna say thanks again for watching this video. And if you wanna get started to build your own online business on Amazon, then I'd love to give you some free video training that I put together that shares with you more about this process and more in-depth, step-by-step, how you can get started to build your own online business on Amazon to create whatever kind of internet lifestyle that you want for yourself. So to get access to this free video training, all you gotta do is just go to www.projectlifemastery.com slash FBA, okay? Projectlifemastery.com slash FBA. FBA as in Fulfillment by Amazon. And I also have a link uh, in the description of this video as well that you can click on. Head on over to that page. All you gotta do is just put in your name and your email address and then check your email inbox and then right away I'll send you uh, some valuable videos and resources to help you get started, learn more about this and guide you in that right direction and then you'll get uh, a few more emails from me uh, over the next few weeks. I just don't wanna overwhelm you too much right away uh, but I'm not gonna spam you or anything like that. I wanna make sure that I provide some awesome, high quality, free content that can help you build your own online business on Amazon. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.